everyone, this is Dhruv Bhutani and Siraj from PhoneArena.com and we are at the LG booth at IFA Berlin where we are going to take a look at some of the camera capabilities of the brand new LG V30, one of the most interesting smartphone photography and videography uh, devices out there right now. So let's take a closer look. Okay then, so since we're going to be taking a look at the camera capabilities, I'm going to hold up the phone a bit so that there is something at the background. We're also going to rock you through, walk you through as many modes as possible. Uh, diving into the camera app, you can see, well, that's the standard view viewfinder mode. This is set to automatic right now. It's pretty simple. Tap a button, take a photograph, tap the other button and switch to the cam video mode. Uh, where things really get interesting is that you can tap this button at the top to switch into the wide camera mode and it just instantly zooms back, it's a much wider frame of view and uh, it's absolutely unique. There are There's very few smartphones in the world that do this and most of them are made by LG so that's something uh, worth uh, taking a note of and um, well this is going to be particularly useful if you're shooting landscapes, if you're shooting in uh, very close-knit uh, areas and if you're shooting large groups of uh, people. With people you'll have to be a little careful because as with most wide-angle lenses there's a bit of barrel distortion at the edges and uh, that has the potential of well making people look a little bent and that's probably not something that you want in your photographs okay then let's move on to the next mode uh, well, you can switch you can press this button to get a range of filters built into this you're probably not going to be using this you probably just export your photograph to Instagram so not much uh, to be gained over there switching over to the settings you've got the photo size uh, I Right up, right up to 16 megapixels for the primary sensor with the wide angle sensor you can go as high as 13 megapixels and uh, just to let you know the front facing camera is rated for 5, for 5 megapixels which seems a, does seem a little low considering the competition which have most of them have at least an 8 megapixel sensor in terms of video capabilities you can of course go as high as UHD video uh, 16 is to 9 and you can also shoot FHD 18 is to 9 though once again there's very few uh, uh, televisions or monitors out there that would support an 18 is to 9 uh, aspect ratio and you probably don't want to shoot in that. Alright, so you've also got the HDR mode, the timer mode, voice shutter which we can't really demo right now because of the amount of ambient noise but um, well, LG says that you can take a photograph by saying cheese, smile, whiskey, kimchi or LG. That's a very interesting choice of keywords um, and we'll be sure to test that out once we have the device with us. You can also maintain and track focus on a moving object but this works only in an FHD and HD mode. Um, there's a range of other features. Some of them useful, some of them not that much. Let's take a look at some of the other modes. So one of the features that LG really talked about was Cine mode. And uh, this is particularly focused on videography as you'd expect. Uh, this is the standard mode right now, but you can tap this button and you get a range of uh, filters, so to speak. If you've ever worked in, uh, in an app like Premiere Pro maybe, uh, you'll know that it is uh, possible to add LUTs uh, which basically help adjust the look of the um, of the film or the video that you've taken and that's pretty much what's happening here and uh, the effect is really nice particularly like I'm taking a look at this uh, black and white filter or, uh, of sorts that they have and you can adjust the strength you can exit, ex uh, adjust the vignetting as well and uh, the end result looks really nice um, so you can experiment with that and uh, that's that's the Cinelog mode. But there's something really interesting as well. So you can use the point zoom feature where you can just tap on one corner of the screen and then you can zoom into it without dropping resolution. And uh, I suspect that LG is doing this by using the full sensor at the back and cropping into that. Moving on, you've got a dedicated food mode which works as you would expect. Uh, there's the pop out mode. Let's switch to that and uh, it's an interesting effect, you, it takes the photograph from both the regular camera and the wide angle camera, superimposes the regular camera photograph over the wide camera, uh, wide angle lens and even an interesting effect. Uh, as we said LG really builds features for uh, multimedia creators and there's something out there for everyone. You've got a full fledged manual mode which is extremely robust, uh, you can adjust the aperture, the white balance, focus exposure composition, ISO, shutter speed and a lot more. Uh, we really do not have the, uh, the, the time right now to be able to get you, uh, to be able to experience uh, all of these features but as you can see LG's features it is really robust. You've even got focus peaking. Um, so we'll be sure to demo that during the full review once we get to it. Uh, please do watch out for that. You've got a match shot feature which is uh, 
uh, which basically works uh, using the 18 is to 9 screen. You get a square photograph on the left, you take that and it switches over to the rear camera. You can have a wide angle or the regular lens, snap that and you get a full photograph. Alright, then uh, let's move over to another feature which is the guide shot mode. Yeah. All of these features basically make use of the 18 is to 9 aspect ratio to divide the screen into multiple parts. There's a time lapse mode uh, which works as you would expect. You can switch between multiple settings to enable the kind of video that you want to take. A 360 degree panorama mode which is self explanatory. Uh, there's a snapshot mode in which uh, you can take a photograph and preview it right beside it without having to dive into the photos uh, uh, photos uh, app. And uh, this could be interesting for someone who's really short on time. Uh, but more than that, it's just a showcase of the 18 is to aspect ratio and how it is uh, how it adds more to the feature set beyond just being uh, um, easier to hold in the hand uh, so you've got the slow mo mode for video uh, let's take a look at the settings and see how you can drop down and you've also got the regular panorama mode similar similar to the manual mode for photography you've got a manual mode for video as well and once again there's a full range of settings right up to the resolution uh, you can adjust the frame rate you can adjust the bit rate uh, you can record in hi-fi mode uh, for uh, audio and uh, steady recording covered lens mode there's just a lot of options uh, as we mentioned earlier um, the cine mode you can use that in the manual mode as well and it saves the video in LG's Cinelog format uh, which should mean that you should be able to um, adjust the settings you don't have to use the filters that are built into the phone itself you can add a lot of LUTs if you're working in Premiere Pro or a similar app uh, so, so you've got as you can see you've got the uh, left and the right audio monitoring as well and LG has really done a really good job with the manual camera app on uh, on the on the LG V30. So that was a very quick hands-on with the LG V30's camera app. Um, of course, we are not in a position to do a, give you a final verdict on this for sure. But as it seems, uh, the LG V30 really ups the smartphone photography and videography game, um, and it's looking to be as possibly one of the most interesting smartphones at this point uh, in, of 2017. This was Ruben Siraj from Ponerino.com. We'll try and bring you some more coverage of the LG V30 over the course of IFA. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section. And thanks for watching.